Hi right, mate, how are you doing? You want to learn how to play? Don't give an inch, yeah? Alright. I'm um, not entirely sure what level of playing that you are. I don't know if you're just beginning or you've been playing for some time. So what I'll do is I'll use this. This is the first time I've done one of these video tutorials or on tutorials if you like. It's the first time I've done one of these. So this is as much a learning curve for me as it's... Uh, as it might be for you. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll use this video as just an accompaniment to the, I'll send you the tablature of the the chords and uh, the lead work as well. Um, so what I'll do in this case, I'll break the song down into its various parts, it's in row, verse, chorus, middle eight, etc. And I'll play each part through at its normal pace first, then I'll play each part through straight afterwards uh, at a slower, slower pace and hopefully with the, the tablature that I'm going to send you mm -hmm. this will be a, a handy guide for you and uh, should help you, should help you learn and experience to be a, a bit more comfortable um, but again you, you just need to tell me if this is going too fast for you or it's just as, just as likely as it is going too slow okay so I'll get straight on with it and begin with the, the intro section of uh, Don't Give an Inch. I'll play through, it's not a pace like I say, and I'll play through once more a bit slower. There you are. <laughs> it through at its normal pace and here it is at the slow one. <laughs> Okay, this. Um, again, I'll play through fast. Uh, not fast, well, it's, it's normal pace. And then I'll play through a bit slower. Okay, and the verse for Don't Give an Inch is. <laughs> first through and slow up Chorus is and play it slower. The second verse, when I when I write songs, I always try to make uh, the second verses, or uh, depending on the how the song's structured, but I always try to make at least some kind of a different, pardon me, different, uh, just slight differences to to how it's played. Um, and this this is just purely just uh, 
add dynamics to a song now they could be subtle or it could be one that you'll get straight away but uh, I think you'll be able to pick out the, the differences in this the, this version of the second verse but all we're looking at that's that's just me writing style I try to try to make everything like a little bit different rather than just exactly the same because it tends to, to make a song a bit clunky so the second verse again play through it it's uh, it's normal pace is this <laughs> slower pace now it's often it's often harder to play um, something a little bit more intricate slower when you've been used to playing it fast so if uh, there could be a possible uh, Les Dawson moment here and if you see Les Dawson play piano you'll understand what I mean so instead of this being a Les Paul custom it could quite easily turn into a Les Dawson custom so please bear with us so second verse done a bit slower, hopefully not in Les Dawson style. <laughs> I think I got away with it. Okay, and then you just simply it's into the chorus again. Now for the lead part, which is... And played slowly, that is... We have a change where it goes to like a drop out to the drop out middle middle eight section. We go back to the back to a chorus where it's doubled in this case.
played that last part I've already shown you the chorus that's uh, that's the same but the the second half of that goes to uh, <laughs> Get to the last part of the last part of the song, which is where it turns up the. Uh... <laughs> slowly that is So once you've got that, then the full song is, it should sound hopefully something like this. <laughs>
and that's that mate so hopefully that's been of some use to you and uh, if you need any more help with that just let us know cheers mate